Mikhail Tiaglik, a candidate of technical sciences and associate professor at the Moscow Aviation Institute Department of Aerodynamics, Dynamics, and Flight Control, addressed the media regarding the TU-214. He was asked whether the aircraft is considered an interim solution until the MC-21 is built. What prevents it from functioning as an adequate substitute? He responded that the TU-214 is an outdated design from the late 1980s. The plane necessitates a crew of three, including a flight engineer, a role that flight schools no longer teach. Modern computers execute these functions. Furthermore, the PS90 engines use more fuel, which increases costs. The MC-21's advanced ergonomics, quicker boarding, and increased comfort remain the primary focus, despite the possibility of the TU-214's limited production continuing with modernization. Nevertheless, this is in direct opposition to the current efforts of Tupolev, which has established design teams to modernize the aircraft. Although the Tupolev aircraft is somewhat outdated by Western aviation standards, it is not obsolete and is presently undergoing a revival in Russia. This aircraft has regained significance as a result of geopolitical factors and the necessity for locally manufactured alternatives to Western-made aircraft. Russia has resumed production of the TU-214 series as a response to sanctions that have limited access to Boeing and Airbus models. The aircraft will continue to be a significant factor in domestic aviation as the Kazan Aviation Plant intends to produce approximately 150 units over the next decade. This number is by no means limited, judging by the Russian fleet requirements. Russia is also using the TU-214 as a flying laboratory to evaluate and replace imported components with domestically produced systems. Russia's overall import substitution initiative includes this effort to reduce reliance on foreign technologies. By replacing outdated components and modernizing the aircraft, Russia is modifying the aircraft to meet modern operational needs and maintain its dependability. Although the plane is not a direct competitor of modern aircraft, such as the Boeing 737, Airbus A320, or even Russia's more recent MC-21, it occupies a market of its own. The TU-214 is an appealing alternative for certain airlines due to its proven technology and increased passenger capacity on specific routes. It fulfills a market need for aircraft that are dependable and can function efficiently without requiring Western components. However, compared to modern aircraft, the model's technology is outdated. By the end of 2024, Russian-made alternatives will replace many of the imported components in its avionics and systems. This transition is essential for the aircraft to become more self-sufficient and to comply with current geopolitical constraints. In summary, the Tupolev model is not obsolete, despite its lack of technological sophistication and efficacy in comparison to modern airliners. Active production and adaptation to current requirements underscore its continued relevance in the Russian aviation market. The TU-214 provides a practicable and dependable solution for domestic airlines that are experiencing restricted access to Western aircraft. What does the argument that it is obsolete by Western standards mean? First and foremost, it lacks modern aerodynamic innovations. The airframe is of an older generation. Modern turbofan engines, the PS90A, equip the aircraft with sufficient thrust and low fuel consumption. However, people consider its avionics and flight systems to be less sophisticated than those of newer aircraft from Boeing or Airbus. The cockpit includes basic digital fly-by-wire controls designed for a three-person crew. However, the cockpit does not yet contain the most recent developments in automated flight systems or navigation technologies that improve the operational efficiency and safety of contemporary airliners. People perceive the TU-214 as a product of its era, developed during the late Soviet era in the context of the global aviation market. The model's design reflects outdated engineering principles potentially failing to meet the current standards for passenger comfort and fuel efficiency set by newer aircraft. For example, the TU-214 has undergone some modernization, such as improvements to its cabin and systems. However, it stays at odds with aircraft such as the Boeing 737 MAX and Airbus A320neo, which provide superior fuel economy 
improved aerodynamics, and advanced materials. The TU-214 is not wholly obsolete, despite these limitations. Russia continues to manufacture and modify it for a variety of purposes, including special mission variants and passenger transport. In an effort to replace Western aircraft that are no longer accessible due to sanctions, the Russian government has implemented plans to increase the production of the T-214. This production strategy emphasizes the aircraft's ongoing relevance in specific markets, despite its aging technology. Despite being considered outdated by Western aviation standards due to its design heritage and technological capabilities, the Tupolev model remains an active participant in the Russian aviation sector, adapting to current requirements through production initiatives and modifications. It is also worth considering the viewpoint of the primary customers. Aeroflot CEO Sergei Alexandrovsky shook the Russian aviation community in June 2024 when he announced that the company was abandoning the purchase of Superjet and TU-214 aircraft and instead focusing on the MC-21 due to the ongoing delays in aircraft manufacturing programs. In the interim, the authorities had directed the national carrier to become the first major customer of the TU-214. The contract required the building of 11 airliners for Aeroflot by 2025, with an additional 29 by 2030. However, it is inaccurate to claim that Kazan, the plane's manufacturing location, viewed the carrier's demarche as a disaster. At first, it appeared that Aeroflot was making every effort to avoid purchasing the plane. The aircraft's production development was in danger of becoming a nightmare due to the attitude of its primary partner, which was, to put it mildly, far from problem-free. However, a new major and more constructively-minded customer soon appeared on the horizon. S7 Airlines, which plans to purchase 100 TU-214s. However, they have not yet formalized these intentions into a firm contract. Now, do you think TU-214 is a dated aircraft? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.